how's it going everybody I am back with another video hopefully you guys are all doing well uh, unfortunately this isn't exactly good news although it is a rumor so take it with a grain of salt as we sort of go along with the day uh, we don't know if this is 100% true yet but I do have an interesting take on this because at the end of the day Microsoft already isn't doing much in other places with Xbox. So I want to kind of get into this because this kind of was a breaking story uh, and I wanted to kind of get everybody's thoughts and opinions on it. So if you guys have a thought and opinion on this, please leave it down in the comment section because I'd love to hear it. So according to this, and again, still take this with a grain of salt, Microsoft could stop pushing Xbox consoles in Europe and other regions. So the marketing plans for Microsoft regarding its Xbox consoles could be changing in a major way. In the latest edition of Tom Warren's notepad letter, the push to sell Xbox consoles in Europe and other regions could be going the way of the dodo bird. According to a tip that he received, Microsoft will reportedly stop marketing the Xbox console itself in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. Instead, the company fo will focus solely on Xbox Game Pass, cloud gaming, PC and Xbox controllers. Uh, Microsoft has been struggling to sell Xbox Series S and X consoles in many countries across EMEA, and the tipster believes that Microsoft will now allocate less console stock to Europe as a result. Warren adds that he does he hasn't been able to fully verify the information from the tipster and is still looking for more information. Overall, the sales of the Xbox Series console have been struggling since the release in November of 2020. According to the latest sales data, the Xbox Series consoles are 13% behind that of the Xbox One through the same time on the market. They are also behind the Xbox 360 over the same time frame, though no specific gap was given. Uh, so again, it's very interesting to hear what is happening now. Here's the thing. There's, there's a couple of ways to attack this line of thought. One, it's not true, and they'll continue to limp on in uh, Europe. Okay, but here's the thing. They've supposedly, allegedly sold 6 to 7 million units throughout all of Europe, um, obviously including the UK and things like that. They went down 50% on sales after going down 50% on sales. Uh, there's a lot of talk of, you know, why even bother supporting them. Now, here's the thing. There, there's, thing there's people on X that really I, I don't see how you could be like have any kind of positive thought on xbox at this particular point in time yes they've showed off some decent looking games but there's so many problems that are going on there it's like is it even worth it at this particular time like i, I don't even know you know it's it's really just one of those things where i'm, I'm kind of questioning uh the entire thing but when I kind of look at this and I go, let's just say they did, because I know people who are in Europe, you know, and some people messaged me, DM me yesterday and were like, Microsoft already doesn't advertise here. They have no presence in Europe at all. So realistically, what would what would change? I mean, allocate less stock. That's, you know, I mean, they already do that. They don't really stock much over there. It's, you know, but again, if they were to say, like, let's say pull out of Europe altogether, which, first of all, would they pull out of Europe? They might as well pull out of Japan, too, at that rate, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, so you, you pull out, and what happens? Like, there's some people that believe nothing bad would happen or it'd be okay or whatever if this did happen. Here's the thing. How is that a good thing, right? Do you really think developers are going to mess with a console that only has a, a presence in North America and is even there hanging on by a thread? right like what about all the european developers uh, i can't see them working on games for for a console that's not in their territory you know so yeah you know i, I think that that would be a terrible move by microsoft uh developers would not make optimized versions of games it, it would be just a nightmare and people still don't see these red flags that are that are kind of cropping up and you know it, it's just one of those things um that that keeps happening and and microsoft keeps shooting themselves in the foot you know it's it's really uh just just one of the the worst things that that i can see happening uh you know and and, and microsoft it's like they don't care about their own stuff you know like that's that's the thing that i think i'm i'm most concerned about is Microsoft really just seems to hate their fan, their console fan base. And I've went, I mentioned this in um, some previous uh, videos that I did, but it's like, man, honestly, 
what is up with Microsoft and the level of nonsense that they put their fans through? You know, like I'm a I'm a longtime fan of Xbox, but I feel like you know they just really hate me, <laughs> you know, and not just me, but like you guys too. You know, if you're an Xbox fan, it really comes across as they hate you, you know, and and I hate to to just be as blatantly honest about it as I as that, but it, realistically, what else can be said? You know, they they just are not fans of us as gamers. They don't want you know, uh, you know, they don't care about the console fan at the end of the day. And that's, you know, a huge shame because, you know, we're the ones that are buying the products. We're the, we're the hardcore, you know, I realized that they always had this kind of dream of, um, you know, billions of gamers and that was never, ever going to happen. You know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate, but if there were billions of games, uh, you know, gamers out there, they would have been found by now, right? It's like those people don't want to be found. They, they're not gamers. Whatever the case may be, um, you know, it's just not going to happen. So what do we do in the meantime? You know, it's like you just keep chasing after these 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 waterfalls and rainbows and stuff. And, you know, it, it, at the expense of what you already have, you know, um, I just honestly can't understand that in the least and and then there's fans that are defending this stuff like guys listen how much are you going to defend this at what point do you guys look at it and realize that microsoft doesn't give a crap about the, the xbox console speak out about it speak with your wallet you know be vocal but you know i'm not saying go on a tangent but be respectful about it but how many red flags do you guys need let's just talk about this for a second they've advertised no need for an Xbox more than they've advertised the Xbox, right? This entire generation. I have never seen hardly any advertising for the actual Xbox consoles, but yet I've seen nonstop ads for no need for an Xbox, right? They do a whole advertising campaign for that. We saw more advertising campaign for no need for an Xbox than we did for Hellblade 2, right? Think about that for a second, right? Is that not crazy? I, I just think it's absolutely crazy. Microsoft also charges us to play online but not the PC side. They force us to play with PC gamers with all the cheats and hacks and all that nonsense. They get Game Pass day one games for $8 cheaper a month than we do, right? They, how can they care about Xbox console gamers in the same breath? There's an exclusive game area coming to PC, that first party, right? So they give PC Exclusive games. I mean, I'm sure they mentioned something that it'll eventually come to Xbox. Like, Flight Sim was the same situation. Age of Empires, that stuff. Whatever. But it's like, could you imagine them doing a console-only game? Or a timed console-only exclusive? Like, people would, f like, flip out, right? But nobody seems to care that their console is, you know, um, kind of doing what it's doing. Right? Like, I get that it's failed. But it's like they haven't really tried anything. They've not given themselves... A chance to see what can happen if they actually go out and change something you know it's a ridiculous thought that you know that, that the console can't come back and can't do well I, I get that people are like and I had people come at me oh they're 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 getting ready for the future man I have heard that bullshit for the past decade and they're in no better spot right now right they're in no better spot so again this is crazy that people would defend this or people would look at this and think, oh, you know, that would be a good thing. Like, trust me, pulling out of any area, stopping your consoles in any area is, is not a good thing. They are giving up. You guys don't understand this, right? They are 100%. If this happens, that is it. They are giving up because if you're going to put out an, and people go, well, they're going to put out a, uh, you know, you're going to put out a console. They're going to put out a new console. They already said they're going to pull it out a new console, right? Okay, so they're going to put out a new console, um, but they're going to do it half-assed because they're not really going to care about it. and They're not going to release it everywhere. They're not going to market it everywhere. So what would be the point, right? And I have to remind people, at some point, they promised to put out new Windows phones as well and new Zooms. And they advertised Mixer as being the latest and greatest and paid hundreds of millions of dollars to get the biggest streamers on the platform before they shut it down. So just because a corporation says something 
doesn't mean that it's going to come true or that it is true. So keep that in mind. I'm going to link this in the description. Let me know what you guys think. Rack them up. Crap Gamer out.